I wanna start by letting you know that Amazon is a search engine like Google. The reason I'm saying that is because in this video, I'm gonna discuss a few different ways to improve your Amazon SEO. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization. Now, the difference between Google and Amazon is Google is a knowledge-based, info-based, uh, primarily search engine, and Amazon is a specific e-commerce-based search engine. So search engines are basically these huge websites that have tons of data, and they're based on keywords. When you type keywords in, that's how the algorithm displays what you're looking for. Now that the, the techno blabble is out of the way, you kind of understand how search engines work, we can talk about SEO. SEO is important in Amazon because it's a search engine. And the way that you make a lot of money on Amazon is not through PPC, it's through organic purchases. Organic purchases basically mean when people type in your keyword, and a keyword is just the, the, uh, the name of the word that you're looking for. So baseball bat would be a keyword. Yoga mat would be a keyword, right? Um, baby diaper bag would be a keyword. So you make all your money on Amazon in private label off of organic purchases. The way that you get organic purchases is by increasing your ranking within the search engine. Now it sounds kind of complex because all these nerd terms, but it's actually quite simple when you understand. There's a bunch of factors that go into Amazon's algorithm and how you rank. A few of them being search volume, keyword density, click-through rate, conversion rate, and there's tons of them and nobody knows all of them. Just like in Google, nobody knows all of the ranking factors, but those are a few of the big ones. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're optimizing your listing and you're optimizing your account properly so when you get these purchases and you get these impressions and these click-throughs, you're gonna start ranking. One of the big ones is your title. And I want you to think of an Amazon listing in literally in chronological order from top to bottom. Now, from top, it is the most important, and at the bottom, it is the least important. So at the top, you have your title. Directly below that, you have your bullet points. Directly below that, you have your description. So in that order is the order of importance for your keywords. Now, when you're doing keyword research, and we talk about this in another video, and actually in AMZ Hunter, our uh, subsidiary, we actually do keyword research for you. So if you're like, I'm struggling with keywords, I wanna make sure I have the best keywords because they're important. We actually do that for you as a service. You can check that out on AMZ Hunter or somewhere directly below in this video. But when you find these keywords, you wanna make sure that your most important keywords are in your title. Now, you can't stuff your title with keywords, we talk about that in another video, but you do wanna make sure you have your most important, most lucrative, highest impression keyword because that's gonna help you get the most amount of volume. Directly below that in your uh, bullet points, you have more room. You can actually fit a sentence or two or a couple sentences per bullet point. Now you can kind of stuff more of these keywords. Now in your description, what's below that, you can literally put paragraphs. See, so you have title, a sentence, uh, bullet points, multiple sentences, and your description, multiple paragraphs. So with the more amount of text that you have um, access to, the least amount of keyword ranking that you will get. I hope that makes sense, um, because if you understand this, this is super important. Now, another area that a lot of people, especially beginners, are asleep on is your back end. If you go into Seller Central underneath your listing, right, under listing management, you click the edit button. When you click the edit button, you're gonna see a bunch of different filters, right? And if you actually go to your listing, you'll see keywords. This is on the back end. You wanna make sure that you're using your most important keywords in order, chronologically, meaning the first keyword that you list being your most important. So if baseball bat gets the highest amount of impressions, which are searches, you want baseball bat to be number one, right? So these are a few ways that you can increase your SEO and increase your chances of ranking so you can get organic purchases or purchases without you paying for them. For more content and videos like this, make sure that you turn all of the notifications on on my Instagram account. That way you're notified of every video, post, and live Q&A that I do. Also, check out more videos on my YouTube channel, at Joshua Crisp on YouTube. There's over 100 plus videos similar to this in all around entrepreneurship. And for 50% off all services as well as softwares that AMZ Hunter offers, make sure you check out www.amzhunter.com and use promo code HUNTER50. 50.